Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is going to be a really quick three to five minute video, guys. It looks like Subway is being sued after the tuna sandwiches are revealed to be anything but tuna and they don't even contain fish. Can you imagine? I used to absolutely love Subway. Let me tell you, I was obsessed with Subway where i used to get my subway it used to be packed full everything like they had to squeeze the fillings like in the bread and on top of that you get to have any sauces that you want more than one is what they didn't charge you when subway first came about like i couldn't get enough of it and now i didn't really get the tuna much so this doesn't really come as shock to me because i didn't consume that much of the tuna sandwich but allegedly guys it is anything but tuna now these are just reports okay these are just allegations subway have denied the the claims so just bear that in mind if you do want to get another tuna subway i'm just going to jump straight into the video let me know your thoughts in the comment section so two bay area residents are suing the popular fast food restaurant chain subway their attorneys claim the lab tests prove that subway tuna is neither tuna or fish now like i said subway denies the claim saying that tuna is real and wild caught a spokesman for tuna told the daily mail that these claims are meritless plaintiffs are seeking unspecified damages and attorney fees if you bought a tuna sandwich from a subway restaurant recently chances are you may not have eaten something that was made from anything but tuna what they are claiming is that the tests prove that the tuna is actually a mixture of various concussions that do not constitute tuna yet have been blended together by subway to imitate the appearance of tuna the complaint does not specify what the lab tests reveal or what the tuna is actually made of which is a little bit weird because it's like if you're gonna make such a massive claim then you need to provide everything you need to tell us what exactly are you stating that it is you can't just say it's not tuna but then you want to pull a full stop there subway says there is simply no truth to the allegations in the complaint that was filed in california subway delivers 100 percent cooked tuna to its restaurants which is mixed with mayonnaise and used in freshly made sandwiches wraps and salads that are served and enjoyed by our guests the taste and quality of our tuna make it one of subway's most popular products and these baseless accusations threaten to damage our franchise small business owners who work tirelessly to uphold the high standard that subway sets for all of its products including its tuna mm! I felt that statement. Given the facts, the lawsuit constitutes a reckless and improper attack on Subway's brand and goodwill and on the livelihood of its California franchise. Indeed, there is no basis in law or fact that the plaintiff's claims, which are frivolous, and are being pursued without inadequate investigation. This is what is currently happening back and forth, guys, and what they say now is this is part of a trend, you know, which can actually really damage their franchise. And if I was Subway and these allegations were fake, I would sue them people. I'd be like, listen, you tried to take us down and without any real evidence. Obviously, as consumers, we're gonna be very concerned. It's like, well, if I wasn't eating tuna all this time, then what? was that eating a subway is standing firm and they say listen the subways are tuna flakes in brine mayonnaise and an additive to protect the flavor so guys let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section feel free to hit the subscribe button and i'll speak to you guys in my next video